My name is Jackie Felice, and I'm the Campus Recruiting Manager with Beacon Hill Staffing Group. We are going to talk about how your foundation as a student leader can set you up for success in a staffing career. I was an orientation leader, resident assistant, and a student government director. I was an RA for three out of four of my years and a senior RA for two of the four of the years. And I was also uh, heavily involved with Student African American Sisterhood on campus. I was an orientation leader and director. I was the president of our activities forum, as well as an employer relations intern in our career services office. Involved in student athletics. I played football for a little while. Um, and then from there, I worked in a call center. I was in college. I did phone-a-thon. That was one of my favorite things. And then I became kind of a student leader for that group too and helped with the training there. I was also a student orientation leader. I worked as a student manager and a personal trainer for Well Works. Well, I was um, a teaching assistant in the Global Studies and Canadian Studies Department. Um, and I was a student fundraiser as well. Why? Um, the backgrounds of your fellow panelists and people attending today would make someone a good fit in one of our entry level roles. Hardworking, easy to connect with and just like really enjoy people and working with people. Um, I would love for some of our panelists to elaborate on how your foundation student life has helped your approach to nurturing relationships with either job seekers or companies. One of the main goals you have as an OL is to establish that relationship with first year students the second they arrive on campus and to then be a trusted resource for them throughout the next four years that they're there and that your time overlaps. And that really mirrors what we do with our candidates, where my goal in my first initial conversation with a candidate is to start building trust. Um, how did your undergrad experience involved in one of these types of campus roles give you a strong work ethic? really allowed me the chance to become familiar with rejection too, as well as, you know, understanding that I have to do, you know, X, Y, and Z to achieve the goal. Would you agree that anyone willing to take on the intense workload that comes with being involved on campus could see success in staffing? And how has that been helpful for you? So, example, you know, say you're having a tough student during orientation and they're just like, talking in the back of the classroom, not paying attention, like they know everything. Sometimes managers are like that. <laughs> and you're just still providing all the information you can and hoping to, you know, get that deal and getting their trust and building the relationship. What makes us special here at Beacon Hill? I think just the culture, the experience, the special spark, the people, our holiday party, our CEO. Um, we have our diversity, equity, and inclusion committee here at Beacon Hill. Um, let's talk about getting started at Beacon Hill and training. Oh, I know. I can ask anybody for any help. Even during COVID, I've been able to reach out to people and say, it seems like you've had a ton of success on LinkedIn. What are you doing? So let's talk about what career growth can look like at Beacon Hill. If you want to grow and you push for it, it it's the opportunity there for you. One of the great things that I think is unique to Beacon Hill is also just the mentorship piece. What's your favorite part of the job when it comes to the day-to-day? -day? Dealing with the candidates, talking to different people every day, building out my network. Chelsea, you brought up the DEI task force. Um, I, I would love for you to elaborate on that. We have a multitude of just leaders and people from different backgrounds and experiences kind of all coming together on this committee. And we're doing a lot of brainstorming and starting to implement various things within our organization. We had uh, someone ask if you could weigh in on what you may have identified as determinants of success in the industry. Like the ability to like roll with the punches and not like, you know, get too low on the low or too highs on the highs. Um, Chelsea, AJ, Liza, Francesca, Lily, and Kylie, thank you guys so much. We are hiring across all divisions in multiple locations for entry-level sales and recruiting roles. Certainly looking forward to connecting further. I hope everyone has a great afternoon and thank you so much for all of your questions and participation today. Thank you again, guys. See you soon.